This one color tip is going to make your illustrations so much better. When it comes to applying color, a lot of people will just default to using a darker shade for their shadow, or they might just even use black, and that is totally fine. But to make sure things are a little more interesting, try giving your shadow a different color. I personally like to use this darker burgundy for my shadows or even this forest green. So you'll see that in my work that a lot of my shadows and darkest darks have that color applied to them. Now, I want to mention that when it comes to creating shadows that are for very dark elements or even very dark skin tones, I actually recommend switching these two around so that the color becomes the base and the shadow becomes your highlight. Okay, that might sound weird, but let me show you how that works. So using that unrealistic color as the base, I'm going in and adding my skin color as the shadow just like this. And of course, adding all the necessary highlights to bring more de depth and dimension. And that's it. Bottom line, don't be afraid to play with unrealistic colors in your work and be sure to follow along to stay on Illustration YouTube.